Hi, and welcome to our presentation on Proact On Demand, doing RCA the way that you want to do it. Let's first explore some of the common barriers to successful RCA that we've all faced in our careers. Requires too much time. Too difficult to do. Too expensive to buy all these tools. Lack of standardization across our facility. Difficult to share what we do find out cannot demonstrate the impact on the bottom line to finance people. Okay, now we know what the hurdles are, let's look at some of the common tools that we use to do RCA. The five whys. Depending on uh, the level of RCA that is needed, this is one of the common tools that comes out of the quality world where we simply ask ourselves why five times in a linear pattern and draw a single conclusion. The fishbone. We reorient our fish, it's going upstream, our fish head is our problem statement, and then we choose a category set, which is our modes in this depiction. We're going to use the six M's here, man, method, management, materials, machine, and measurement. And then there's a population that uses the regulatory cause category approach, where we have the event, which is our undesirable outcome, and then we choose category sets based on the nature of the failure. Some common category sets, communication, equipment, slash facility, human factors, human resources, patient ID, patient observation, physical environment, physical patient assessment, plan of care, psychosocial patient assessment, security systems and processes, supervision of staff, and technology slash training. Whatever we choose to use, it has to work for us. It's not one size fits all. We, we all have our own approach, and if it's working for us, we run with it and we approve upon it. But whatever tools that we use have to be flexible enough to grow with us from being a novice to learning more and becoming a veteran analyst. So let's go look at Proact On Demand and see if it fits our model. Every line item in here represents a complete root cause analysis. I'm going to go down to my five whys example here. I'm going to open this analysis. Now, in any analysis, we have the capability of using a lot of different features. Preserving our evidence, our data collection strategy, organizing our team, writing our report and communicating it, and then tracking that whatever we did got better. But for now, we're going to focus on the graphical depiction of cause and effect logic. As we stated with the five whys, I now can construct a five why linear logic tree, and in any of these blocks, I can simply go in click on the node and get my node options, I can edit the text, and I can go ahead and change whatever I want to in terms of text in here, answering the question, why did the previous event occur? Okay, we will return to our analysis list now, and we will go to our fishbone example. We will open the fishbone, we will go to our graphical depiction, and just like in the PowerPoints, we have our setup here where we have the undesirable outcome at the top, and our six M's. Now let's say that we put a team together and we're going to explore this uh, category set and we're going to explore a machine. How can a machine fail that would have contributed to this particular event? We could come up with the machine had failed as one option or we could say that we had operator error in some fashion as to using that particular machine. So the machine was fine but we did something wrong with setting it. Okay, I'm going to identify the parent. I'm going to click on machine and say I'd like these two children to come underneath the parent. And I simply click add the checked items to machine. And we can continue that process with our team or by ourselves. And then I could, my next question would be how could a machine have failed resulting in this undesirable outcome? And then we can look at aspects of that machine as opposed to focusing on the operator error. Okay, let's return to our analysis list. And now we're going to go down and we're going to pick up the cause categories. I'm going to open. I'm going to analyze. And now we have our cause category sets from our regulatory agencies. Uh, in this particular outcome, uh, we can go ahead and we can look at any of these particular cause category sets. Uh, perhaps we're going to look at technology and training related that I can go ahead and I want to add a node now and say how could we have had a technology or training related issue? The user not trained 
in the new technology. So we hit OK and we can add a node going that way. Uh, we could also be able to use what we call uh, template libraries. I have a template library over here which is an option within ProAct On Demand and as you can tell we have category sets for death templates, masters, and then serious harm. Let's say for instance we go in and there's a lot of different examples in it. Let's say let's just take falls. Falls are very common. And then we come in and we say a subset of falls. I'll just click anything here so that we can see one of the falls templates. And as you can tell here falls due to environmental issues here are a lot of different options to consider. We did not cordon off the wet floors allowing the fall. We did not empty the visual employ visual aids as reminders allowing the fall. We did not inspect wheelchairs allowing the fall. So as you can tell these particular options could uh, become available. I can use these within my, my current logic tree by going ahead and copying them going back to my original tree and I could say that we had to paste that here and as you can tell we pull the logic over from our templates. Now first we want to be able to exhaust the knowledge and experience of our team members and then we can go ahead and do a search on a template and say well is there anything possibly that we didn't think of that these, this outside experience may have thought of. And when we get down to organizational system related, these are going to be all issues related to the human and our systemic uh, systems. So that this is going to be like our policies and our procedures and our training and our purchasing habits, things of that nature. Now one, another way of searching these templates is to go on keywords. I can use previous suggestions. I want to look at all of the templates relate, related to organizational systems and I upload what are my possibilities. And we see here that we also have these uh, category sets like from the Joint Commission. Uh, one thing I can do here is to go ahead, well, let's say we have communication issues and I select that one. This is added communication here and if I want to go further I could say well how could communication have related to this particular undesirable outcome. I use previous suggestions I bring up some possibilities. Inadequate communication between participation, participants, uh, information issues, procedural issues. Let's say we put information issue. We add the selected. Once again, we say information issue, previous suggestions, inadequate information or misinterpreted information. And as you can tell, the sequence would continue until we've reached a point at which we feel we can make a recommendation to prevent this recurrence of uh, the particular cause that we've identified. So what we wanted to get across was the flexibility to do RCA the way that you want to do RCA. We just went through the templates, the template concept, and in available on ProAct On Demand there are 170 specific knowledge templates under the following major headings. Under the death uh, templates, care management, criminal, device, environmental, pr patient protective, product, and surgery related. Similar for the serious harm, but the consequence was not as severe. And then on our organizational system related, we have human error, procedural issues, joint commission categories, and environmental related. For more information about ProAct On Demand and our other RCA, FMEA, and Opportunity Analysis offerings, please visit www.reliability.com or www.proactforhealthcare.com. I thank you for your interest and your attention.